For many families, the pandemic put a halt on travel, especially at the height of it. But tourism is ramping back up in San Antonio. And as concerns ease up, the streets of downtown are once again filling up with families. We checked in with a few visitors about how they feel about being out and about once again. Say hello. Hello. Well, I think we're all like tired. I mean, certainly towards the beginning, we were hunkered down quite a bit. This is really our first time coming out, venturing out. Um, I just say wear my mask and keep going. The fact that we're outside, the weather's nice. It's, it's just nice to kind of pretend it's normal a little bit. I think people are just itching to get out again. That's, I think it's great. Everything getting back to normal. Build up the economy, you know, bring back tourism. It's a beautiful place to come to, see the Alamo history. Oh yeah, we came out to do the boat tour and the bus tour. It's nice to see new things. See vaccinations, I myself am vaccinated, my husband is, so that we feel more comfortable that way. I think if people do social distancing, wear a mask, I don't think about enforcing that vaccine. Yeah. Just make sure we wash our hands, watch what we touch, try to stay social distancing, you know, not, not get too close to people. We're happy to follow all the guidelines just to try and keep everybody safe. Have a good day. Now, new at five with more people out and about, uh, that means some more business for local retailers. And right now, businesses are hiring more workers, getting their merchandise ready for what could be a bigger and busier holiday season. Marla Ross, the owner of Adelante Boutique, located at the Pearl, says that they have been very busy and they're seeing more people shopping. Ross says they've just hired four new people just in time for the busy holiday shopping season. And while she's excited about more business, she says the pandemic is still causing some challenges to retailers. I think it's gonna be a very robust Christmas. Well, last holiday season was really scary because we didn't know if we were gonna be able to get any goods. And I definitely have some anxiety this year as well. According to the National Retail Federation, consumers plan to spend an average of nearly $1,000 for themselves and their families this holiday season. That is on par with consumer spending last year, despite the continued supply chain issues experienced this year.